This week, we've been telling you about a crime involving a woman who was arrested for trying to rent out a house that she didn't own. Well, since our initial report, we've been inundated with stories of renters getting ripped off. But stopping these types of crooks can be challenging. News Channel H's Chip Osowski is live in our Pinellas County Bureau. Yeah, good evening to you both. Police tell us in many of these cases, the schemers are simply working behind their own computer, looking for listings online and then claiming that they are their own. The schemes are quite common. The arrests, however, are not. A lady comes, she's a mother, she's moving from out of state. She was like, I'm so sorry to bother you, but I just saw this on Craigslist. Um, I got a text, to go drive by, see if you like it. Bridget Cunningham wasn't trying to rent out her house, but someone else was. Cunningham texted the guy. And I just said, hey, I'm interested in the property in St. Pete. And I listed my address. And he said, he wrote back within two minutes, giving me all the details. This is with the deposit, everything. Go drive by and let me know if you like it. I'll send you an application. In this week's case in Clearwater, police arrested Ewelina Draz and charged her with burglary of an unoccupied dwelling because they claim she physically went into the homes, took pictures, and then posted the photos online. Police began their investigation after a victim came forward reporting she paid money to rent a home and it was a hoax. But eight on your side found arrests in these cases are not the norm. We do everything we can. These types of cases are incredibly difficult to try to investigate because the phone numbers and addresses and information that these people are providing are, are fictitious. They're not linked to an actual identity. Detective Caitlin Lance works economic crimes with the St. Petersburg Police Department and believes consumers should be wary finding properties on social media sites and sites like Craigslist. There are other red flags to keep in mind. They're going to try to rush you. These types of people are good at what they do because they get you in this panicked mindset, this fight or flight response where they're like, you have to make a decision, you have to make a decision now. And in Cunningham's case, she did report the incident po to police, but because the individual that listed her house never showed up there physically and because there was no money exchanged, there was technically no crime committed. Police do say that there was intent, but the guy was clearly fishing. Coming up on News Channel 8 at 6, just how common is this? The answer will certainly surprise you. It's really Stacey. frightening. Yeah, it is. Thanks, Chip, for bringing it to light. Max Defender 8, the most advanced weather radar in Florida. Sponsored by Cool 